In our Friday debrief a handful of weeks ago, we posted a survey asking readers to chime in on what type of hydration system you all prefer. Uh, because we recently published a review on the new Revelate wedge bags that come with that optional hydration bladder system. And there were definitely a few comments about the pros and cons of using a bladder instead of water bottles. So in our latest video, we are going to unpack those results and I'm also going to kind of share some opinions and some options out there. Let's do it. Before we dive into water storage, I just wanna let folks know that this video is supported in part by Surly Bikes. Surly, they make serious steel bikes for people that don't take themselves too seriously. They make bikes that are versatile and durable that can be dressed up or down for commuting, bikepacking, ATBing, gravel grinding, or really whatever you call fun on two wheels. With 15 original dirt-friendly platforms, they offer something that fits just about anyone for any style of riding. So for more on Surly, make sure to click this card right here. You can find the link below. All right, so the results here were not all that surprising. So 52% of the readers or the folks that participated in the survey said that they just use water bottles, while 32% preferred both water bottles and a bladder, 8% just chose the bladder in a frame bag, and 5% use a bladder in either a backpack or hip pack. Now, I've done all of these things in the past, um, but I think there are many factors as to why you would pick one over the other, such as bike size, time of the year, region, and how much water you simply need. So let's break it down a little bit further. All right, so bottles here. Bottles, they're really super convenient. They can be filled up quickly. They're durable. They can be attached in various spots on your bike. They come in multiple sizes and are super versatile, allowing you to add drink mix to them pretty easily. It's definitely the most traditional way of carrying water on a bike, but it also may take a little bit of creativity to just use bottles for bike packing. So I typically use bottles uh, as my only source of carrying capacity when abundant water sources exist. However, bottles serve a purpose beyond just bridging short distances between water sources. There's plenty of good spots on your bike for bottles, uh, such as paired with a wedge or a half frame bag, inside stem bags, on your fork, on compatible front or rear racks, on the down tube, in a hip pack, even on top of your top tube. Plus, you can also add water bottle storage beyond using your typical water bottle mounts, and I actually did a whole video on that, which is linked below. So one method that I've used over the last year or so with a lot of success is this Fidlock Uni Base system that allows me to basically put the bottle on top of the top tube or really anywhere, it's super convenient. All right, so bladders and bottles are clearly another popular method. And despite it being a bit more complex, this is actually the method that uh, is most common for me. So by adding a bladder to the mix, it basically allows you to carry more water in a somewhat more confined or tight area, such as a frame bag. Bladders also typically have a larger capacity, which can create a simple solution of carrying all of your water or a lot of water in one spot. But this also poses a challenge if space is limited. And while bladders have come a long way regarding durability, they are certainly more susceptible to damage than bottles. But on longer trips in areas that have limited water, bladders play a crucial role, be it in your backpack, hip pack, or obviously your frame bag. More recently, I've mainly done one bottle on the top tube or two on uh, the fork, depending on the fork type, uh, complemented by a bladder inside the frame. The bladder inside the frame also typically acts as my water filtration system. So when I have a long stretch between water sources or I plan on dry camping, I'll typically fill the bladder and my bottles up as needed. But when I anticipate passing plenty of water sources along, my day, uh, my bladder will typically be empty and I'll use it to just fill up my bottles or my bottle as needed. I like this system as it makes sense for trips that require more water capacity, but it also definitely is a good solution for almost all of the trips that I find myself on. I swore by this method for years using at least a two or three liter bladder inside my frame bag and weaving the hydration hose around my cockpit in some fashion. When I needed the water, I would lean over and take a sip from my hydration bag, 
via the hose. It's a rather convenient system and it still allows a big capacity, but dealing with the hydration hose can be certainly annoying, especially when you need to remove the bladder to fill it up. Not to mention, you don't really have a small spot to put, say, a drink mix. You would have to throw it in the whole bladder. Over the last few years, we've seen a few brands come out with bladders that specifically work with frames and frame bags, such as this Apodura Frame Pack Hydration Bladder, which I reviewed a few years ago, and the new Hydro Pack Revelate Designs shaped hydration bladder that was just launched with their new wedge frame bags. I guess the downside is that you always need to sip out of a hydration hose or bladder, which is definitely not as convenient, especially at camp or say when you're in your tent at night. Last but certainly not least, we talk about carrying bladders on your body or in a hip pack or backpack. This is probably one of the easiest systems as many of you already have a backpack or hip pack hydration system. These systems typically allow one and a half, two or three liters of water storage, conveniently storing them off your bike and on your body, which is helpful for smaller bikes or shorter riders. But because the weight is on your back, that means more pressure on your butt. Uh, yeah, and that isn't always comfortable. Water is not light. One liter is one kilogram or 2.2 pounds. Add three liters to your back, well, yeah, that weight quickly adds up. So this is why I stopped using this method. Plus, uh, I typically carry my camera uh, and camera gear in my hip pack, so I really don't have that space anyways. But if this is all you have, well, it's not the end of the world, but it is definitely evident in the voting that it's certainly not a very popular method. So the reader's results align definitely with my feelings of how I store water on my bike, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on carrying water. What is your preferred method and why? And if you like this video and wanna see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell and consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. Support from our members helps sustain this channel and really everything we do at bikepacking.com. The Collective has a lot of awesome perks, including the twice annual Bikepacking Journal. So for more details, click on the card in the top right corner. You can also find a link below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, pedal further. Oh,